Thanks for staying with us on News 360. Let's now do a mission. And in mission tonight, pupils of Asenso No. 1 MA Primary School in the Doma Central Municipality of the Bunu region use one computer during information communication technology lessons. Stalin Iblo reports the desktop computer is used on rotational basis. School authorities say the Asenso MA Basic School has about 300 students enrollment. This is not the only school in the community, but remains a preferred choice for many. Pupils receiving formal education at the Asenso MA Basic School go through tough times. Information communication technology is one of the compulsory subjects taught as introduced by the Ghana Education Service. However, delivering this subject is a Herculean task. The school is fortunate to have an ICT teacher but there is only one desktop computer serving classes one to six pupils on rotational basis. At the time of the mission team's visit, class three pupils were being taken through ICT lessons. The only computer was brought in, but not all the components were functioning. Only the monitor works, and the ICT teacher had to improvise for the lesson to take place. What are you creating? Who can create me? All is set for the commencement of the class. But there is another challenge. There was no mounts, so I offered one. Even in a class, lessons are conducted in batches. I am told each class uses one month to treat one practical topic in ICT and creative arts. This is because only 45 minutes has been allotted for ICT in a week. As a result, not all the topics in the syllabus are covered. Sometimes you need to do something for the students to see and the system unit is the engine of the whole computer and if that one is not functioning meaning you cannot do anything so sometimes I have to go and use my own uh, laptop in order to assist because these are our future leaders. Pupils are not comfortable with the situation. Head teacher of the school is equally worried about the challenge confronting teaching and learning. When it is time for ICT, the teacher will come and take the computer to that class. After 45 minutes, when it is time for another teacher, that teacher will come for the same computer. So they move the computer to other class until they finish their lessons. The school also has inadequate furniture for kindergarten pupils. Some pupils sit on tables meant to aid their writing. The Doma Central Municipal Assembly earlier donated some bags of cement for screening, which has relieved pupils of learning under dusty conditions. Doma Central Director of Education, Edward Anlaku, is confident issues confronting the school would be addressed. For the computer issue, it's not only that particular school you went, but it's a general problem. With the exception of few schools, the national cake is small, but those who are depend on it are plenty. So I would rather call on philanthropists to help these schools. Municipal Chief Executive for the Mass Central, Drisa Watara, said the assembly is committed to ensuring students study under conducive environment. At Ascenso number two, the municipal assembly has constructed, furnished and handed over a junior high school building to the community. This was after the old structure accommodating pupils had deteriorated and could no longer be used. The new building with ancillary facility also has improved ventilation system, washrooms and a staff common room, but also has no functioning computers for ICT lessons. Municipal Chief Executive Dresa Watara said the assembly is keen on improving education in the municipality. I was in Ascension number two to also hand over another one number three unit classroom block to the community. And in all these cases, I have to furnish it. So that's what we are doing. In spite of all these, we still have challenges within the municipality. Intervention would be required to improve the study of ICT in Ascension number one and two. Stanley Nibley, TV3 News, Ascension one and two, Doma Central, Bunu region. 
We remain in the Doma Central Municipality of the Bono region, where teachers and pupils of the Joint GDA Kindergarten School study in harsh conditions. Now, Stanley Niblo reports its structure accommodating the pupils is near collapse. The Joint GDA Basic School has more than 100 pupils attending from four adjoining communities to get formal basic education. But kindergarten pupils are not sheltered under a conducive environment. Structure sheltering them has deteriorated over the years, posing danger to pupils and their teachers. Enrollment at the kindergarten level has shot up due to the availability of the school feeding program. The lack of teaching and learning materials, however, has been an impediment to the delivery of quality education. Few slates are available for use by pupils, but their rough surface makes it difficult to put to use. Teachers are worried much has not been done by authorities to address the infrastructural challenge of the school. The MC sent engineers to come and have a look at the structure, perhaps due to the pictures that I earlier on sent to him and also have a look at the upper primary block. Uh, they have, according to them, they have done whatever that it takes to come and either erect a new structure altogether or have this one uh, rehabilitated. But the last time I checked, I was told funds are not yet available. Doma Central Education Director Edward Anlaku is equally disturbed. It is not comfortable at all for teaching and learning. Especially when you are in a weak structure. And with the history that we have in some areas where buildings have been collapsing on children. At the time when you are, uh, I went there in my maiden visit, some of the teachers told me that when they are in the classroom, they feel very unsafe. Especially when you hear small wind blowing, you think that the whole thing is coming down. So I think the assembly will have to attend to that structure as early as possible. District Chief Executive for the Mass Central, Drisel Watara says the assembly would work to address the problem. Joint GDM project, yes, you are right. It's been captured into the 2019 annual action plan. So we are going to go there to make sure that, uh, you know, we complete that project for the case. At the primary level, enrollment in some classes has dwindled. Teachers attributed this to unsolved challenges facing the school. There are only four pupils in class four, but none of them could express themselves in the English language. Teachers complained furniture they use caused discomfort. In the absence of cupboard, exercise and textbooks are stored in baskets. Shed constructed in 1992, seven pupils in upper primary has not received a facelift. The headmaster's bungalow also serves as a storeroom. Jane GDA Basic School would require commitment of resources from government and other stakeholders to provide decent infrastructure and improving teaching and learning. Stanley Niblu, TV3 News, Jane GDA, Doma Central, Bono Region. We are by and that's all for this edition of Mission. Mission is brought to you by Star Ghana with funding from Danida, UK Aid and the EU. Thanks for watching.